Package in the mail, MSX came from Japan. Let in with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with uh, quite a different pickup video. This is actually an arcade related pickup video. Um, now, um, um, my local friends, uh, fellow podcast member Aaron um, and, um, and Gary, who I've mentioned a few times before, that's his NBA Jam cabinet there, um, got a whole lot of arcade boards from a local provider. Um, and they have some leftovers. These boards here are uh, partial workers uh, or ones they haven't necessarily tested, so not all of these are going to work. Um, but they're games that I'm interested in, so I'm willing to have a go. Now, the first one here, I believe, works. Um, and it is related. So this is a Galaxian PCB. And it works. Um, and it, but it's a clone one. It's not an original one. And the main reason I got this off the guys, and the guy suggested I get this, is basically another one of my favourite games, Bosconian, is actually just a Galaxian board with different ROMs. So I should be able to, as long as I confirm this one's working, write a new set of ROMs and have a copy of Bosconian, which would be very nice. And the board looks in very good condition, definitely far better condition than the uh, actual original Sega Galaxian board that I've got over there that I am still repairing. Um, my apologies, I have not had the time due to family and everything on that. But this one's marked as okay and I believe that is one that I have actually tested. It's got a fair bit of a bow on it though. Have to be careful with that one. So that's one. So at least no one game works. And now next we have and I said I haven't plugged these in or turned these on or anything like that. These are straight out of the box. Now the next one ow sorry PCBs are actually quite sharp on the back. So this is a dual layered one very dirty and it's a copy of Xevious. Another one of those classic games um, from the time that I was in the arcades. Um, wonderful colourful graphics and everything like that. have absolutely no idea of the condition. It does have its harness which actually helps a little bit. Um, it's extremely dirty to clean it up. The um, caps don't look damaged or anything like that which is a good sign. Uh, there's a patch wire off there so I'll have to work that one out. Um, but that Looks pretty good. So, Xevious is our second one. I ran out of spots to do this. Uh, next, we have. That is it. This is. Right, a partial. It's missing the middle board, I believe. Um, but it's actually a real time pilot. I have a space pilot, and I have numerous. Um, uh, Tutankhamun boards, and they are very similar. The top boards between Tutankhamun and Time Pilot and even Space Pilot is identical because it's, it's the soundboard, and they just change out a couple of ROMs. This one actually doesn't have the top ROM, interestingly. Um, but I believe, and I could be confusing because I've never seen an original Space Pilot board. It's missing the middle board, or is it only Tutankhamun that has the middle board? It doesn't actually look like it's supposed to have one. So. Uh, yeah, I'll have to give that a go, and that, that could give me a, an actual original Time Pilot. Um, okay, it's in black pen, it's written Time Pilot, and it's got sick. So it obviously does have some issues. For a start, the top, poor top board's dangling loose there. Now underneath it is another blue board. It looks like a, um, a bottom board from something. Uh, and I'd actually say this is actually this is another time pilot bottom board because it looks identical to the one I just held up to you. Uh, ground five volts, a cap there. Uh, it's still attached, so we'll give that a clean up. Bit of um, thing, a lot of few ROMs there that had the um, the light, you know, the the windows. Um, 
scraped off, so we might have to um, reboon some ROMs and things like that. But um, other than that, it actually doesn't look in too bad condition. Uh, the back doesn't look too bad, so potentially with those parts, I might be able to make a time pilot. Right, next we have. Ah, right, yeah. no idea of condition, but another classic game that would be nice to, to have is Super Cobra. And it's labelled on both sides Super Cobra. The, the frame is mounted properly. And what have we got here? Just some instructions on the switches. Um, no indication of working and non working status. It just might not have been tested by anybody. So, Super Cobra. I said the guys are generally interested in slightly more modern games than me. I like the, I like the older ones. Right, next. Okay. Right, some sort of board that has multiple collections. Ah, oh, okay. Right, this one here is marked as a Donkey Kong Junior board. Interesting that it's got this, uh, it's a dual layer board. Uh, once again, other than dirty, it doesn't actually, sorry, I'm, I'm here holding this up and look at caps on the other side. And all the EEPROMs are all nicely covered up and everything like that. Um, it looks in, and it's, there we go, there's the serial number there, so DJ-811B. So maybe... With a bit of work, we could get a um, Donkey Kong Jr. going. It does look like there's a component missing on the far right there. I'll we'll have to have a look at that. Maybe that's supposed to be some sort of a battery or something like that. And it's near the, um, the audio volume. So, Donkey Kong Jr. Put that over there carefully. Next, we have... Uh, once again, no idea whether it works. And... A really dirty edge connector. All the caps look in good condition, and we have quite a small board. It's a Green Beret. A game I don't think I've ever played in the arcade. The only Green Beret game I've really played is the horrible MSX version. Yes. Uh, one Konami game that Konami didn't write themselves, and they really should have. Uh, that actually looks in pretty decent shape. These caps over here have been scraped a little bit, probably from storage and stuff, but nothing's standing out as bulging and everything like that, and um, the back looks reasonably clean, so we shall see, these could be completely dead, or maybe they have scrambled graphics, or maybe they work, we'll have to see. Uh, next we have, right, and they actually had heaps of copies of this one, uh, all different types. So I can't tell you whether it's original or not, so I took one off their hands, and it's a Mr. Do. I don't mind Mr. Do, it'd be nice to have a working one of those. Um, I think pretty much every game I've pulled out is a vertical as well, so and I do mainly have verticals. And it's actually got a serial on the back, MRD-1102. For a board build. And that's actually on the front too, so can't tell you whether it's a pirate or not. No. Claim border and original. No idea where it's working. All the EEPROMs seem to be covered up. Uh, all the caps, no physically damaged caps. It doesn't, in general, look in too bad condition. So we'll see what happens. Uh, so I said this is only going to be a pickup video. I am not going to get a chance to play with these and uh, record play for many of them, but I'll do them individually as I recover them. Right, last but not least is uh, completely unknown because it's got nothing written on it. I wouldn't have grabbed it unless I knew what it was. Where is it? Oh! Oh! It's a frogger! It's actually got frogger written in black down there, so I ended up with a frogger board. Cool! Yes, it's got in black writing down the bottom there. Um, this one actually looks in pretty good condition. Oh, the EEPROMs have been scrapped off there. The windows have been opened, so 
We shall have to see. Um, how do they work? It's, looks like it's been stored okay. Cut the chips and some of the capacitors. But I'm willing to give it a go. Obviously, got to make some harnesses for these things which which is the bit that takes the time with these older boards they're not uh, hardly anything i just held up was was jenna they all have custom harnesses so that means you've got to build a harness for each and every one of them but i do have the smaller connectors that a lot of these boards use and finger boards jenna fingers so you put wires between the connector and a finger and plug it into a jenna harness and hopefully away you go all right uh, so it's so just a quick pick up video of some arcade boards that I'm very thankful the guys um, let me have out of their stash. Uh, they weren't any that they were interested in themselves, they're just trying to clear them out and they're actually, what, what they have left they're sending out in lots to get rid of them so they get the storage space back. They're happy with the boards they've got. Um, so over the next months, shall we say, I will do videos as I progress on these. I have actually made some more work uh, progress on uh, the cocktail cabinet I'm working on at the moment, um, so I will do a video soon. Sorry for the uh, slight lack of videos lately, but um, very busy with family and work, but I'll catch up eventually. So anyway, as you can see, very arcade focused at the moment because it's something I love and I actually really do enjoy the tinkering with the electronics and soldering and and working stuff out. It's just, it's good fun. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.